Well, I'm back with another video. This time we're going to be working on my Laser Turbo XT. This computer is an IBM PC XT clone compatible, and it has some issues. Recently, the graphics card ended up shorting out, or capacitor ended up just not working anymore. And all of a sudden, my image is very messed up. Now we're going to fix this by replacing the graphics card and the drive controller card, because that was also an issue in previous videos, like the one here. So continue watching, and I'm just going to put the boxes up on the screen and get into it. So let's actually get into it. Here we go. Okay, now first we're going to open up this one because it's a bigger box and bigger boxes are fun so get that out the way get this down a little bit get this thing figure out how they open this And for reference, I have no idea what this is. It's, I've ordered two things, it's one of the two. Ah, okay, so this is the graphics card that I'm going to be putting in the computer. It's an 8-bit MDA and CGA card. That's like a really good looking card too. A little bit of corrosion. It'll still work with corrosion. I'm not worried about that right now. I can fix that later. But we're putting this in. And something that did not work previously, which was this. This is the controller board. Very well. I'm gonna have fun with that. Actually, I can use this for other things. Uh, well packaged. More tape. plastic bag. And this is the controller board. Wow, that is a really good looking board. I like that. So, these are the two boards I have. Controller board and a, not a controller board. Now, it's gonna be, you know, kind of difficult to do this because there's no computer to put it in. Or is there? This is my Laser Turbo XT. And this is what happens when you try to turn it on. First, that so you can see it. Love these monitors. And, no, it's not going to turn on because it's not plugged in. One moment. 
Okay, now it's plugged in. This is what happens when you try to use it. That is not a good thing, which is why I got the car. And the hard drive doesn't work. So we're gonna be replacing that. I'm gonna keep this up here, but let me take this off. So let's take it off. And while I'm doing this, I did actually take off the screws in the back, so all good. Okay, now that everything is off, let's angle it towards us so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Now the things that we're gonna be taking off are going to be this card and this card. So let's get those screws out real quick. Now this card is the original VTech card that came with the computer. Um, now, just because the card is bust does not mean that I'm not gonna be able to fix it in the future, so I'm going to keep this. They, I mean, seriously, they just don't make graphics cards that are this deep of a green anymore, I love it. Anyways, this is the serial, we don't need that. Let's disconnect the hard drive. And the disk drive. out. So this is the card that was in there, and this is the card we're going to be putting in there. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing except uh, maybe a few differences. I'm going to put these back right there where they need to be. Uh, yeah, other than that, I really can't find anything else that's different other than I need to get those. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get these little out right here. Okay, plug up the floppy. Put it on the bottom just to make sure. This is difficult, but it's still easier than putting in a coax cable. Jeez. Nope, it's not right over. There, nope. Yank you out a little bit, so I can... You, right there, uh -huh, uh -huh, right there, and... Why are you not going to come on? Oh, it's bent. It's right on top of them. Bend them out later, I'm not worried about that. It's just annoying. There we go. And on. Okay. Hard drive. There we go. On. And. Add this. There. Okay. Come on. Just one. Why are you not going in there?
There we go. Nope. Wait, yeah, no, that's in there. Okay, so I can put the screw back on that. Because this is never lined up properly. Even the old car wasn't quite lined up. Actually. Why not just be lined up, but eh, we'll figure it out later. Alright, now you need the graphics card. This is the new graphics card made by Emulex, maybe? Nah, I don't know. But it's from about 84. Whereas this one is made by VTech and is from also 84. So yeah, this, this one has a switch between MDA and CGA. This one does not. I wish, like I said, I'm going to keep this card so I can figure out how to get it working in the future. But for now, I just want to get this computer to work. So, oh, wow, that's like no effort. Okay. Push it forward a little bit. There we go. Come on. There we go. Alright, that all should be in. That's not in right there, but that's that later. Everything is plugged in, kind of. Let's get that. Let's fix that, so. First test, will it blow up? No. Alright. Turn the monitor on. Plug in the graphics, the newfound graphics card. There. Let's see. Will she work? All right. Here we go. Test number one. That is an issue with the. That is the monitor. One second. Okay. Set. Hmm. I heard something, so let me go get a boot disk. Okay, something we do know. The graphics card indeed works, which is wonderful, because I'm also planning on getting a CGA monitor sometime in the future. The other thing is that why is nothing else working? Put that in there. There, restart. Hmm. I don't think that this is in there properly. Let me uh, check something out real quick. Okay, so everything is working, but You were not working for some reason. Hmm. Might have to flash the files, but I can't do that if it doesn't work. Hmm. Let me put in the other card real quick. Let's try that. Hmm. Okay, so now it's just not doing anything. Oh, there it is. It's reading. But nothing's showing up here except for that flashing dot. This is new. Computer's doing things, but nothing of those things is actually showing up on the screen, which that made no sense, but you get what I mean. 
So the graphics card works. It's just not... I'm curious. What happens? Now this might end up in total destruction or disaster, but... So what I did was those little pins that I found earlier, I just pushed, I found some more on here and pushed them in. Uh, try, what happens if I just put both graphics cards in? And then catastrophe? Or it could be fine, I don't know. We're about to find out. This is plugged into the old card. So it still does this. I'm switching from CGA to not so gay. So this works. Okay, so I think I figured out what's happening. This is acting like it has two monitors and this one right here is showing a different screen, which... I don't know. I've got nothing on that one. Um, this one's the same thing, yeah. Okay, so the graphics card works. Um... Why it is only sh why it's showing a different screen? I honestly have no idea. Okay. Because uh, this still doesn't work. I still need to find out how to flash the BIOS off of that one onto this one. But in the meantime, I still have this one, which is good. Um, hmm. What is up with you? Do a little bit of research. Okay, so after doing a little bit of research, I actually ended up finding out what this card is. It is a um, Emulex Persis, P E R S Y S T. I am not good with words. Color two, but this, yeah, it, it's a, it's basically just a half length card compared to you know what was back then. Uh, I'm gonna take these out actually because I saw the video that I saw do not have these. So even though the video I saw I didn't have these, it might mean I still don't get them. One moment. Okay. So now I have this and my wonderful poker and broader that I because I think these things are like melted on here. It's just uh that thing off or didn't okay, let's see here. It's a good one. Almost got it off completely. That would have been nice, but it didn't. There we go. All right, that's one. Um, can I get the other? Yes, I've got a hold of the other. There, number two. And I need one more. Come on. Come on, number three. There you go. Oh, I can't fit the back, can I? I cannot get that because of reasons. Can I? Oh, nope. There we go. There's my dog. Okay, so like I said, the one that I saw before did not have any of these in there, so let's see if that works. All right, straight. <laughs> oh. Okay, now that we did that, let's. Okay, that was new. Um, not what I'm looking for, but that was new. Let's look at these, let's try to put these back on there accordingly. Nope. 
Okay, so that, um, I tried taking out, moving them around, and, uh, evidently, that's not what, uh, is causing it. But, at least I do have new controller board, which I'll have to put in later, once I'm able to figure out how to flash the BIOS. And a graphics card that works, but I still te can't technically use, so, yay. Uh, this is going to be for another video. Please give me any advice. Uh, I'd be very grateful for any because I'm very, um, I'm, I'm not very knowledgeable about these old, old, old computers. So any information would be helpful. But other than that, that's going to be the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, take care.